Well, we're on the next question. We're on exercise 7.3, and you'll find that 7.3 and 7.4 are uh, continuous questions. So 7.4 carries on from what we do in 7.3. So we'll do both. 7.3, first stage allocation in a manufacturing company. It's a long one, but let's read what we have. Movie Time Corporation produces furniture and fixtures for home theater installations. John Jones, the owner of the company, recognized a trend in home theater installations starting about three years ago and began working with local design firms and home builders to offer affordable yet high quality furnings for new construction and renovation markets. The company's most popular product is a leather upholstered recliner with a cup holder and snack tray built into each chair's arms. I mean, after all, why get up at any point uh, and, and exercise those calories off, right? May as well just sit there. Last year, John decided to implement an ABC system to better understand the overall cost structure and to, to ensure he was charging competitive prices that would allow the firm to remain profitable over the longer term. The ABC system is designed to allow direct materials and direct labor to be traced directly to each of the company's four main products. The system also includes four activity cost pools for overhead, quality control and inspection, order processing, delivery and installation, and other. The activity measures are units produced for quality control and inspection, number of orders for order processing, and number of deliveries for delivery and installation. The other cost pool has no activity measure. The following costs will be assigned using the ABC cost system. And these are the costs we have here. All I've done is replicated the, uh, the six general ledger accounts into the spreadsheet here for a total of 1,108,000. The distribution of resource consumption across the activity uh, cost pools is as follows. And we have the activity, the percentage that should be allocated to each cost pool as follows. 50% uh, for, in, uh, for instance, indirect factory salaries, 50% should be allocated to quality control and inspection. And when we add across, we can see that we're allocating 100%. This is a a function that sums these four just to audit, just to make sure that we have 100%. And we have to carry out first stage allocation. So you can see that some of them have been done already. And I'll go over how we got to these ones. Most of you probably already know if you followed along with 7.2, you'll find that this is fairly easy to do. But when we click into the first cell here, let's just replicate that one. Remember, we hit the equal keys to let, to let uh, Excel know that we're entering a function. And it's 50% and multiplied by 520,000, we hit enter. So we'll get 260,000 over here. We want to drag it across to fill in these cells automatically, but if we drag it across, we'll get all of these correctly. But this will want to drag across these four cells. We want to uh, uh, lock that one in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in the function line and we're going to put a dollar sign in front of the letter K and we're going to put a dollar sign in front of the number six to lock that in place. And then all we have to do is when our cursor turns to that plus sign, that dark plus sign, is we simply just drag across the four cells and fill it in. And there we go. Then we want to drag it downwards, but we know that we're doing it wrong when we do that because, again, we've anchored everything to this cell. We would like it to come all the way down at this point. So we could just take out the dollar, sign, uh, uh, the dollar signs in front of the K and the 6 up here, and this would work out, but then when we dragged across, it wouldn't. The easiest way to do it is to click in each cell, click in this uh, uh, bar, and just uh, change the function to the number 7 on this one. Do the same thing over here. Change it to the number 8 on here. Go back 9 over here. 10 on this one, and finally 11 here. So from here down to here, it is now correct, and all we have to do is grab our little corner, drag it across. So let's see if we got this right, uh, uh, by the way. 520, 140, 95, that looks right. 103, 25, 225, there we go, for a total of 1,108,000. And we can see that each of the cost activity pools has its own total as well. So quality control and inspection, there's 307,800 assigned to it that then will be allocated to each of the activities, the activity measure that we have set out and the question already sets out each of the activity measures that we have to take care of.
All right, I said that 7, 3 and 7, 4 were connected, so let's look at 7, 4. We're going to solve it in the same video. 7, 4 says compute activity rates and assign to a cost object. This exercise is a continuation of exercise 7, 3. It should be assigned only if exercise 7, 3 is also assigned, and we've done 7, 3, so let's do it. The ABC system at movie time contains the following activity cost pools and activity rates this year. And we're told uh, that under uh, quality and inspection, we have 4,800 units. Under delivery and installation, 1,200 deliveries. And for order processing, 920 orders. So we've got all of that down here. We're just replicating, and under other, there are none. Activity data has also been supplied for the leather recliner product line. Here's the leather recliner activity. Quality control and inspection, 1,200 units were produced. Delivery and installation, 300 deliveries and order processing 230 orders <clears throat> required and it's two stages using first stage allocation from exercise 73 which we have in this upper grid here and the above data compute the activity rates for the ABC system round to the nearest whole cent <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the cost is per unit well Here's a row for activity rates. We just click in here. We'll hit our equal sign, and we have $307,800 to assign or to allocate. And we have to divide that by the 4,800 units that we have, and that's how simple it is. Now, since we're dividing the same thing each time, we don't have to keep entering the same formula. We could just drag across. There's number one done. There we go. Look how easy that was with Excel, right? Let's look at what the second thing asks us to do. Determine the total overhead cost that would be assigned to the leather recliner product line using the ABC system. Well, here's our overhead costs uh, for the leather recliner uh, product line. And what we're seeing is that we have 1,200 units at an overhead cost of 64.13 per unit. So hit equals, click on this, click on the 1,200, and we're going to multiply it by 64.13, hit enter. And that's 79,650. And we can just drag that across the next three because we're multiplying the same, the same rows in each one. So when you set up your spreadsheet, if you set it up nicely with the rows and columns in order, you can use this dragging formula or this dragging uh, 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 thing within Excel to make all of that data entry a lot easier. So $234,325 of the $1,108,000 in overhead will be assigned to this particular product. That is 7.4. You see how easy that was?